Hi, I'm Miss Ginsburg with No Adam, and today we're going to be reading Mimicking Plants and Animals. This is a student reader in Unit 5. Using body parts, eagle claws. Linda is a scientist. She studies tigers. Tigers are big cats. One day, Linda set a video camera in the woods. She wanted to see a tiger. When Linda watched the video, she didn't see a tiger. She saw a golden eagle. She saw it use its claws to catch an animal. Here's a picture of a golden eagle. Many animals have claws. A claw is a body part that is sharp and curved. Claws are at the end of an animal's toes. Birds, such as eagles, have claws. Tigers have claws. Cats have claws. Bears have claws. Here's a picture of bear claws and cat claws. Using claws. Animals use their claws in different ways. Many lizards have claws. They use their claws to help them climb. Cats also use their claws to climb. They protect themselves with their claws and they use their claws to hold animals they will eat. This lizard has claws. It uses them to climb. Birds use their claws for many things. They use them to carry sticks to build a nest. They use them to hold onto branches. They also use them to catch and carry animals they will eat. This parrot holds onto the branch with its claws. This eagle catches a fish with its claws. Bird beaks. Birds don't only use their claws to catch food. They also use their beaks. A beak is a hard, pointed body part that sticks out of a bird's face. Birds use their beaks to pick up and eat food. Birds use their beaks to catch and eat food. Not all bird beaks are the same. Some are narrow, others are wide. Some are pointy, others are curved. Each shape helps the bird get food. Birds eat different kinds of food depending on their beaks. Eagles have curved beaks to eat their animals. Hummingbirds have long, narrow beaks to eat nectar from plants. Toucans have wide beaks to eat fruit and insects. Here's an eagle a hummingbird, and a toucan. A plant's thorns. Plants also have different body parts. Some plants have thorns to protect themselves. A thorn is a hard, sharp part of a plant. It sticks out of a plant's roots, stem, or leaves. Thorns make it harder for animals to eat them. Here's a picture of rose thorns. And here are cactus thorns. Mimicking nature, solving a problem. Miguel is designing a game. He wants to create a game where players try to pick up a toy inside a closed box. Miguel is an engineer. Engineers solve problems. This is different from scientists. Scientists answer questions. Engineers create new technologies. A technology is anything that people make to meet their needs and wants. Engineers create technologies to solve problems. Looking to nature. 
Miguel's problem is how to pick up toys in the game. Engineers use scientific knowledge to help them solve the problem. Miguel can mimic an animal or plant's body part to solve the problem. To mimic means to copy. Miguel knows that eagles use their claws to catch fish. He sees that claws are good at picking up many different shapes. Eagles pick up fish with their claws. Miguel also knows that some birds use their beaks to pick up things. He sees that the shape of the beak affects what the bird can pick up. And Miguel knows that a plant's thorns can pierce some things. After looking at claws, beaks, and thorns, Miguel decides to design a solution that mimics a bird's claw to pick up toys. This bird uses its beak to pick up the fish. Miguel builds a prototype of his design solution. A prototype is a first draft. It is a smaller version of the final technology. Miguel then tests his prototype. He collects data from the tests. The data shows how well the prototype solves the problem. It tells Miguel whether he needs to change his prototype or if it works. If it works, Miguel makes his technology. This technology looks like a bird's claw. It can pick up toys inside the game. This game mimics a bird's claw. Wow, I learned a lot reading Mimicking Plants and Animals, and I had fun too. I hope that you learned a lot and that you had fun also. I'll see you tomorrow with another one. Bye.